Left 4 Dead 2 is and always will be a great game, and even though it came out 8 years ago, it's still pretty easy to find servers. Unfortunately, it's not as easy to find servers as it used to be, and a lot of times, especially if I'm playing at weird times, like in the middle of the night, I can only seem to find normal difficulty campaign levels. I mean, there and let, let, me, let me qualify, there's Versus, of course, but I don't really like playing Versus. I like playing campaign, but I like playing campaign when it's difficult. Um, as someone who's been playing this game for, man, almost six years, it's pretty easy to coast through a normal difficulty campaign if I'm at my full strength. So, since a lot of times I don't have any other options but a normal difficulty campaign, um, I've come up with a couple of different ways to make it still fun and challenging for myself without inhibiting my teammates. And I wanted to make a video about those things for other people who might have that problem. The first one is being demonstrated in this campaign, uh, using and restricting yourself to tier 1 weapons and pistols. The, the melee weapons in this game are incredibly powerful. It's so easy to keep the hordes off of you. It's just, it, you can sever smoker tongues if they sh if you're using a bladed weapon like a fire axe or a katana. And the melee weapons are great, but they're a little too easy to use. So if you restrict yourself to dual pistols or a magnum, or if you want ultra hard mode, a single pistol, that's great. And if in, in the same vein, the four tier one weapons, that would be the pump shotgun, the chrome shotgun, the SMG, and the silenced SMG, they're not unpowerful weapons, but they're not nearly as versatile as the tier 2 weapons, which are every other primary in the game. So limiting yourself to the tier 1 weapons and pistols can really remove a lot of your ability to single-handedly stop hordes and special infected and everything and you basically just coast through with your team. Uh, similarly, if you happen to, if you create the server, which I usually do because it's pretty, you just, you create the server, you join in with bots, and then other people join in probably within the first minute. But you get to set the difficulty, and you can just set the difficulty to advanced right there. I don't, I don't think it's polite to have, you know, to start on it expert. Um, I so far I'm not skilled enough that I can carry three noobs through expert. Because let's be honest, every time, every every time you play Left 4 Dead, you're lucky to have one person on your team that knows what you're doing. Most of them end up going like the one, the footage you're seeing here. But advanced is a really great game mode or a really great difficulty to have to carry people through and it would be even easy it would be even cooler if i could get people to play realism but because that has its own its own section in the menu nobody's ever looking there quick play doesn't send people there so i usually have to settle for advanced non-realism uh it makes it make the tanks suddenly become a threat on normal you just melt tanks with whatever you're holding and the the zombies and the special infected they're 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 a lot tougher on advanced so that's that's my usual favorite you can't always get that because if you if you're not the first person on the server your team's not going to vote yes on advanced unless you're super lucky the there are two other ways that i like making the game a little bit more difficult one of them is third person because third person is just fun the way you get third person you open the command console that usually involves pressing the tilde button you, so if you've never done it before you're gonna have to go into options and, and set it so that you can activate the developer console uh, i'll leave instructions in the description on how to do that but anyway you type in third person shoulder all one word into the console and suddenly you can play it looks a little it's kind of got a resident evil over the shoulder look um you can also there's a mod on the workshop that i'll link to in the description it it's it changes the camera in third person it no longer looks like resident evil because you're in the center of the screen but it makes the guns a lot more accurate because if using the base third person shoulder you can't see anything and i should point out that you don't need uh, SV cheats or any sort of cheat commands to do this. It's built right into campaign, but it will not work in verses. The last and final way that I like making the game harder is uh, a mod I will link to in the description. It's a mod called Diabolus. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out how to pronounce it. Diabolus. Devil, devil Infected. And it makes all the infected invisible not all the infected just the special infected and it's it's really quite cool to try and play that way because they still you can still kind of see them they've got these shimmers of light on them so if you can use your like sound cues and figure out you know if you've played these maps enough you usually know where the specials are coming from and you can still so you can still counter them but it's so much more difficult and I find it makes the game a lot more better. These are just some ways to make Left 4 Dead fun if you're really good at Left 4 Dead. Thank you for listening. This is Abacus with the Spuff of Legend. Have a great day.
got to get inside! 